right, Josh says his life has turned upside down ever since meeting his girlfriend. Josh, what is going on? Well, Jay, I'm a 20-year-old father. Yes. And before I was a father, I used to party every day. I had a good paying job at a liquor store. I supplied yeah. all the liquor for my parties. Oh, yeah. Really? One day at one of my parties, I met Mariah, my Ooh. girlfriend. Yes. And three months later, I found out she was pregnant. And that's when my life turned. Oh. Ever since she had the baby, she's been a bitch towards me. Oh. She don't show me no respect. Oh, yeah. She don't cook. For me, she don't do nothing. Okay, now, when you state some of these concerns to her, how does she respond? She yells at me, Ooh. and then... Are, are you pitching in with the taking care of the child? Because oftentimes, uh, when a young woman is at home with a baby, you know, that is just so overwhelming. It almost, no job compares to that kind of responsibility, and sometimes she just needs a break when you get home. Any of that? Yeah, she gets her braids, like, she goes tanning every day. She goes, gets her hair done, her nails. Oh. She just spends all my money. I see. And when you tell her this, oh, honey, you know, take a break, but why do we need to go tanning or getting your nails done? She says... She just yells at me. She oh. just walks out, just hands me the baby and walks out. Did you ever love her? Yeah, I love her. Oh, you do love her? Yeah. So that's not the issue. It's no. just that she's... Uh, now, how old is your child now? Two months. Oh, well, I think you need to, it's your business, but you probably need to take a deep breath. The first two months is overwhelming. And, you know, she just, yeah. So, however she's feeling right now may not be how she feels the rest of her life. So why are you here? I'm here today to tell her, I slept, about a month ago, I slept with her sister. Don't sweat the tanning. Uh, how did it happen? Me, like one day Mariah, my girlfriend, went to go get her hair done. Yes. And she left me there with the baby, so I called her sister over to come help me out with the baby because I really don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, okay. And right. she came over, the baby went to sleep. We started, we watched uh, Detroit Lions football. Oh, that's the reason. And you know. Yeah, you watch that. Of course you Then me take and her started. Off. Yeah. <laughs> Me and her started play fighting. Play fighting? Yeah. Yeah. So I rolled on top of her, and I kissed her. Yeah. Then we took off each other's clothes. That's what happens when you roll on top. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. And, and, and then, okay, and so you kissed, and then... Yeah. So Mariah is the mother of your child. Yes. Who you profess to love. So why are you here? Obviously to tell her, and then what? Because you want to leave her, or to tell her? Yeah. You know, what tell do you her want? Tell her that I'm to, sorry. That you're sorry. Yeah. And it's not going to happen again. No. Because the lions have a long schedule. <laughs> okay. She's outside the studio, so she hasn't heard any of this, and you're going to tell her. I hope it works out for you. You, you know, you're young. She's young. I'm just telling you. A month after a child is born, you don't look for excuses to be with someone else, even if she's yelling at you. Okay. Uh, anyway, here's Mariah. Oh. 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 And congratulations, a new child. You. How was that whole experience? Long, 24 hours of labor. Oh, oh. Yeah, I see. but all worth it. All worth it, he's the center I of your I love life. him, he's my whole life. Wonderful, wonderful. And how is this relationship going? It's good, I'm really happy, but it's just so stressful sometimes. Sure, sure. And uh, well, well, what do you want to tell her? She seems lovely. Well, you know how me and you have been fighting lately? It's been stressful around the house, mm -hmm. you know? And every time we talk, you yell at me. So one day when you went to go get your nails done, your sister came over and I had sex with her. I knew it. All the signs were there. How, like, you're always so worried about her. I knew it. Well, you don't treat me with no respect. You throw the remote at me. Every time I try to talk to you, just run out the door. When because I get home I'm from stressed. work, you, get out, you run out the door. Because I'm stressed, Josh. We have a two-month-old baby. 
Yeah, but you still don't talk to me. Because every time we talk, you try to pick a fight. I'm not the one picking the fight. Because I'm stressed. I'm at home all day with the baby. When you come home from work, you don't want to talk. You want to play the Xbox. You want to go with your friends. You never want to hang out with me and the baby. I work 55 hours a week. And staying home with our two-month-old baby is work. Well, if you show me some respect, this won't happen. Show you respect. You have to show me respect. I was in labor with your kid for 24 hours. You said you knew that something was going on. The way on. they are always flirting with each other. They're really flirty. Always so concerned about her relationships. Like, if she's having a problem with her boyfriend, he's the first one there to talk to her. When we go to the store, he always makes sure he grabs her favorite trips. Like, they know each other's favorite trips, favorite TV shows. A Jerry Springer show. Yeah. <laughs> Are you surprised? Are you surprised that your sister would do this? Yes, because growing up we were best friends. It was only me and her always. Wow. Has this ever happened before? I mean, like when you had boyfriends before you met him, did she mess around with your boyfriend? No, and I trusted her with everything. Like, she's always there for me. She helps with the son. Well, apparently she was helping for a different reason, but. Yeah, well, let's hear from her. Uh, Amber's her name. Here's Amber. you um if all understanding these concerns why wouldn't you have a talk with her in other words why would the option because be she doesn't sleep want to talk it's her way or the highway she's been like this her entire life anybody that knows her will tell you what a controlling bitch she is she does not care about anybody but herself <laughs> Do you have feelings for him? you want to be with him? I do. Ooh. He deserves a woman who's going to treat him right, who can respect him. He goes to work for 12 hours a day and stands on his feet all day. He can't even come home to a sandwich. He deserves he to come home. come home to a sandwich? You don't do he anything. He comes home to a clean cook. house. He comes You're jealous of what oh, I have. Oh, that's my fault. I got into a car accident. You don't have anything I have. Wow. Okay. okay. The bitterness between you two is astounding. What's the end game here? What do you is, mean? Is being with the sister an option? And you think that's going to be good for your child? I don't, I don't think that would be good for my child. Yeah. But Who she, wants you to need to get a backbone for once, Josh, and do what you think. You need to step up and be a man. That's not just her child. It's not the Mariah show. It's both of you guys. She has a show. <laughs> okay. Who's Eric? Eric is my boyfriend. Oh, your boy. <laughs> you know Eric? Yeah, he's my brother. He... <laughs> That's what you do? That's what you do while I'm at work? You don't even want anything to do with me. You call me when you want sex and that's it. And then you start an argument so you can leave. What about what happened last week? You were supposed to take a day off of work so we could go out. What do you do? You blow me off so you can go be with one of your other hoes? No, it's not going to work like that. Okay, look. I work 
24 7. You know, I got one day off a week, okay? You work We've been together hours a seven day. months, okay? I work nine We have a long distance relationship. Okay, and? okay? We have a long distance relationship. We never see each other. That's not my fault. I have a car. I go down there to see you and you blow me off. You ain't come to see me in a month. Get the hell out of here with that. Because all you want to do is you want me for sex and that's it. You don't care about me. Josh is the one who calls me every day to make sure I'm okay. He asks me how I'm feeling. You know what? Don't even bother You're me that you cheated on me. It don't even bother me you cheated on me. But what bothers me is you slept with my brother. And I slept with all people, who are the only guys in the world got to be my brother though? And treats me how I should be you know treated. What? You know what? You know what? It ain't so cut a bitch off. Yeah. You. You. You got respect. That's why I did it. That's why I, didn't, I didn't do it just because of that. Why'd you do it? Because she was like there for me when Mariah wasn't. I was there your whole life for you, bro. No, the hell you, you didn't know. You don't turn around. You weren't there for me, bro. man. You were never there for me. You always I left me at home. I was never there for you. Never showed me no never respect. Never show you respect. You always left me at home to go hang out with your friends. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Never show me no respect. All right, what's, okay. So th this isn't a, a relationship that either of you want. What's gonna happen here? I wanna be with your sister, I'm sorry. Why, why would you wanna be with somebody who disrespects you and treats you like every single day? That's the mother of my you child. Can't, you can't even step up to her. Every day she's treating you like crap, telling you what a piece of crap you are. You're not a good dad. You don't do anything. You don't work enough. You go to work 55 hours a day, a week. You spend 12 hours a day on your feet. You can't even come home to a sandwich. She doesn't do anything for you. I make sure you have everything. I come over and make sure the house is clean for you. I come over and do your laundry and make you food and make sure you have whatever you need. I'm the one you talk to every single day. Every time she makes you feel like crap, who are you on the phone with? Whose house are you knocking on? Mine. I'm the one who's been there for you. Right You're pissed because I can't convince you can't. You never you know why? Why? I can't. Yeah. You're not even a good mom. I'll have to You're I'm not a good mom? No. I'm not a good mom? Whoa. You're Okay. You can't do anything. So you're saying to her, no, you, you want to try to make this work. Well, yes. make your plea, because I don't know what she's going to say. You can get on my face, and she can go make a sandwich or just what she wants. Thanks for watching. Now, please approach the bench. The way I look at it, you have two options here. Option A, watch more Judge Jerry. Option B, watch more Jerry Springer. The choice is yours. Now, get out of my courtroom. You have more clips to watch. Don't forget to subscribe.